this is DMG, and today we are making a well. Well. Well, 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 well. So, first of all, we're gonna grab a five by five centimeter, that's two by two inch square of double layer cardboard. This is gonna form the base, and I'm gonna freehand a circle. It's obviously gonna be dodgy because I'm freehanding it, but that's how this channel rolls. Dodgy to the end. And uh, once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to um, lop off the corners so that I now have a nice round base. Of course, it looks a little bit lopsided, so I'm just gonna tidy that up a little bit on one side there, just to uh, keep it even, make it look like I actually did measure the thing. Okay, so now we're gonna use our super crafting material, tin foil. We're gonna grab an A4 sheet, it's about letter size in the US, and we're gonna cut it in half, and so that's A5, I don't know what half letter is, but half letter, and then cut that in one centimeter strips. So uh, one centimeter would be probably about a quarter of an inch uh, wide, and you're gonna end up with a debose amount of uh, these strips. And then you're gonna roll them up into a ball. So I'm sure you've done this after you've had a few uh, little chocolates, you know, when you get those array of chocolates and things, I always end up rolling these things into a ball. And that's essentially what it needs to end up looking like. So now you're thinking, what the hell is he doing? All right, well, you're gonna end up with a whole bunch of these things after you've rolled all of that tin foil into these nice little balls. And this is roughly how many you should have, sort of a <laughs> number. Okay, and then we're gonna grab a tongue depressor or a lollipop stick, and you're gonna measure to the halfway point and mark, and then cut it in half. And then we're going to use the compass, which we rarely ever use, so I'm not gonna get you to run out and buy like a pin drill or anything like that. If you do have something like that, you can use it for this purpose. And essentially, I'm just gonna be start poking a hole um, in one side and then um, finish it off on the other side, right near the curve of the lollipop stick. And if you've got straight lollipop sticks, you can use them as well. It doesn't really matter. It's just the curve like, looks quite nice. I do that on both of these. So you start to poke the hole through. Make sure you have the um, some sort of surface like cardboard or something underneath it because uh, otherwise you might poke through and crack it. So once you've actually formed a hole, you can then start using that point to actually smooth out the hole that's there. And that's what you should end up with on both. And then we're gonna grab a matchstick and we're just gonna twist it into there. So a square peg, round hole, this is how it works. There you go, scientific mickle. <laughs> okay, so once you've got that stuck in there, you do it on the other side as well. Um, it shouldn't um, require a super large amount of force, but it will pretty much hold it there. And you won't need to glue it, because again, square peg, round hole. Now we're going to uh, grab some hot glue and we're going to attach that to the base. So on top of one side and the other side, and then glue it down so that uh, we now have the, I don't know, what would you call this? The winch above the well. All right, now we're gonna use our large collection of aluminum balls, and we're gonna start a small, probably one inch line of hot glue, and then start dropping the balls into it, pushing it into the hot glue. Now the reason you do about a one inch line is because the hot glue will cure and you don't want it to cure too quickly, so just do it about one inch at a time and that should be fine. Now, um, the hot glue is hot and the heat does transfer through the metal, which is the aluminum, or aluminum in the States, so just be aware of that. And then once you've finished the first roundabout, uh, you're going to start on the second layer of uh, these and continue again all the way around. So just hot glue again one inch at a time and push in the aluminium balls into the hot glue. Again, it will be hot and the heat will transfer into the tin foil, so be aware of that. 
So once that's finished, it will be a little bit fin flimsy until it cures. While it's curing, we're going to uh, grab us a long piece of string, so just probably about 10 centimeters just to go, then put one end down in the well and mark its midpoint up on the, um, the winch part. And then I um, put a bit of hot glue around there and start to pull the string apart. The, um, I don't know if you call it twine, but anyway. So then once that's done, then the non pulled apart end, I stick with hot glue down into the center of the, of the well. And then I start to twist the end, which is all pulled apart across around the top to form the um, bulbous amount of rope. And then just use a little bit of hot glue to uh, hold it there. Um, a little bit loose and flimsy. Maybe I could have put hot glue on the actual winch arm itself. It doesn't really matter at this point. So then I'm going to grab another matchstick and cut about a one centimeter, two one centimeter um, pieces. And we're going to add as this is for the crank for the winch and just uh, blob one piece on there and make sure it's aligned correctly with the rest of the bar. And then double up of hot glue on the end of that and place the other part of it there for the crank. And that's what the well looks like now. So, um, you know, it's looking pretty good at this point, but of course it needs to be painted. So then we're going to black bomb it as in video three. And then I'm going to mix some black and white. You do this to taste. Uh, don't actually lick it, please. I don't want any emails about how you nearly died because you went to hospital because you were licking paint. And uh, then you just dab on with a sponge and you can paint with the sponge. It's a lot easier to do these sort of things with a sponge than with a paintbrush. It would probably take you forever. You could dry brush it if you wanted to, but um, uh, it's probably just better to quickly do it with a brush. It doesn't take very long at all. And I'm doing the same thing with wood. Um, you've seen various different wood techniques in this series. Uh, you can go back and check out the other ones if you want to do them that way. This way I'm just using the sponge. You can just drag the sponge along as well just to get a sort of um, a streak effect. But that is what it looks like in the end. Pretty cool. Well, that's how you make a well. Well. Well, well, well. Well, if you like this video, subscribe to this channel so you can see future videos. You can also press the like button and check out my Facebook page and the website, thedmg.info. At the end of this video, you will see the first of the DMG Crafter Showcase. Uh, you can submit some of the work that you've completed so it can be showcased at the end of these videos and on my website as well. You can also check out the store on my site, which uh, helps to fund this channel and cat food and other bits and pieces and things and what have you and all that kind of stuff. So in the immortal words of DM Scotty, um, well that joke was well intentioned. Whoa. Go forth and comment.